Chris Jinnock here in the VivaQ booth at Display Week 2022. Uh, I've just seen a demo of their uh, holographic display. Uh, this is the rig that they're showing here. It's, uh, I'm not even going to try and uh, capture this with my phone. Uh, they will provide a video that I can splice in a little bit later. Uh, but they had some interesting news here at the, uh, at the show. Uh, this is actually their first demonstration of uh, of a, whole, a real holographic display. So this is a spatial light modulator uh, driven by lasers uh, to create a real holographic image, uh, not a light field image. Uh, and they're targeting this for uh, AR and VR applications. Uh, many of the other folks in uh, the holographic space are doing uh, HUDs, automotive HUDs, uh, but they're uh, really kind of focused on the, on the metaverse application, which is obviously pretty hot. Um, they uh, are using a DMD as the spatial light modulator. Uh, this is uh, my understanding, just as kind of a simple little prism combiner uh, with the lens, uh, with the lasers going in there, uh, coming out through uh, uh, basically a telescopic uh, lens here. So you can stick your eye in this and, and see the image. Um, they did have a little bit of problem with speckle because of a component that didn't make the trip very well. Uh, but you can definitely see that this is a 3D image uh, with, so you can focus in the near plane, the far plane. Uh, so uh, the VivaQ technology um, solves a couple of problems. One uh, is in compute. Uh, they've developed some new uh, algorithms that's, uh, that drastically reduce the compute complexity uh, to creating a, a hologram, which has been one of the bottlenecks for developing true uh, holographic displays. Uh, they've actually demonstrated the ability to dis display four or five planes. Um, and that, this is the way the computer is, a series of planes. Um, and they've done that actually with a, a, a cell phone uh, class uh, GPU, a Mali GPU. And um, they, if you put four uh, more higher fidelity, they think about 12 planes is probably optimum for, um, uh, for an AR or VR kind of application. The other big news I think here is, is the fact that since they can focus on the AR and VR application uh, with a holographic solution, you can solve the arm's length uh, interaction or the just imaging problem, which is historically has not been really doable uh, with other AR uh, or VR applications. Everything is almost always beyond your arm's length, so you really can't physically interact with that virtual uh, device or virtual object. Uh, so that's a pretty cool innovation. Uh, they are planning a, uh, a demo for this September, uh, that, which will integrate um, these, their engine with a waveguide. Uh, and they figured uh, a way to actually inject um, a diffraction pattern into a waveguide and pupil replicate that, which is, uh, I've never heard of that before. And I don't think anyone has solved that problem either. So that's kind of uh, revolutionary. So they're, they're making headway on several fronts here, which is pretty impressive. I think that's about it. Uh, Chris Chinock for Insight Media.